Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline, and today I'm going to be telling you how I made these Regency stays. I can use these for either history bounding, like wearing as an outfit, which I'm going to do in my lookbook, so stay tuned for that. And I made them so you could turn them inside out and made them white on the other side so you can wear them with any color of Regency dress that you want. So stay tuned if you're interested in learning how I made these. So for the fabric, I chose a canvas um, material that has this really pretty like 18th century print. I got it for cheap at Joann's and I wanted to use it for something cool. So that goes on the outer side of the garment. On the inner side, I use like a strong cotton. I patterned this myself based on um, extant garments. So this is the pattern that I came up with. I already made my mock-ups before. It's a pretty simple design for like a corset. This corset is meant to, it's not really a corset, more like a stay. This is meant to make the breast really round and up because during this Regency time, they wanted to go for like a classical rounded look and that they wanted the breast separated up high and rounded. So that's what this stay is supposed to do. So that's what I'm trying to emulate with my design. So here I'm just cutting out the material. It's a double, like a two layer corset. So one side is the stronger cotton and then the other side is the canvas that I made. So I'm just cutting out the pieces. So I just went to the sewing machine and I sewed all the pieces together on both sides. Now, I'm putting cording in this corset and I wasn't sure how to do that unless I just did it all in one row. Like just sewed everything and then just sewed the other side and sandwiched them together like a sandwich and then in between goes the cording. You can do it other ways, I believe, where you could just do this pieces separately and cord them. But the way I did it was I just made this huge like long pieces as you can see here. And this corset I designed to be open closing, so I'm gonna have grommets down the front so it can close with ties. Which they did have in some, and some they don't. In some they have longer design with a bust running all the way down. But I wanted to use this for sort of like history bounding fun looks too, like in regular fashion. So I thought that'd be more apt for something like that. So here I'm, I'm adding the gores. This has, this design has gores to try to make those rounded breasts. And what I wanted to do was make the gores shallow. And then I was going to add a lot of like under cording to like kind of give that push up bra look. But I ended up making the gores too shallow. So I'll show you how I put the gores in. Maybe you guys can make them lower. I thought making them shallow would make and like smaller would make my boobs more like perky but it just made it lay more like an actual stay and not that you know recency look it looked more like 18th century so this is how i did it but i'm not going to explain how i put the gores in because at the end i ended up taking them out anyway but if you guys are interested in putting in gores this is how i did it i just put them in both of the sides and then they can sandwich together like the lining of a fabric Okay, so once I have my gores done and like everything is done on both sides, I just cut off the extra part of the gores because I made the gores like longer than the actual fabric that I was trying to do. And then I just sandwiched the two layers together and then I'm gonna start adding the cording. I ironed all the seams first. Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea to just do the cording freehand. Yes, I made some mistakes with it, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. I would recommend, you know, drawing it out because I did make some mistakes. Both sides were not completely even, but you can't really tell. So I think I like passed with it, but I'll show you the design um, in a second. That just has the design. I put a lot of cording underneath the breast to give it that push-up bra. And then I, you know, corded the front part so it could have area where the eyelets go through. And then I corded the back just a little bit, not too much. And the placement of the cording I got from looking at extant garments and things like that. And just thinking about the shape that I wanted my breasts to be and the shape afterwards is I wanted a really rounded breast. 
So you really need a lot of cording to sort of push your breasts up, which was the look at the time. Okay, so here is the completed, I added all the, all the cording. Again, I probably would have done it, sketched it out first. So I would, I would tell you guys to do that. And I had all these little like corded pieces hanging out off the top. So I just cut them off. And I just made sure that there wasn't any like extra fabric hanging off the edge, that it was all even because I'm going to add bias tape over the top. So I added this really cheap, like, cotton, it's not even bias tape, it's just tape over the edge. Because again, I wanted the other side, I wanted it to be reversible, so I wanted the other side to be all white, and it matched too. And I just whip stitched this on, I went to the machine and did like the one side, so it lays nicely, and then on the opposite side, it's whip stitched. So I just did this around the whole garment, around the strap area around the bottom so you can see it's nice and there's my little channel that I'm gonna add the grommets in if you can see it okay so now I added the grommets now during this time metal grommets were not created yet that was in like mid 1800s so this is just because I wanted it to look cool with my history bounding look and I didn't want to do grommets or I didn't want to do eyelets. I just didn't feel like it. Sometimes you get like burnt out doing eyelets and stuff like that. And I cut my hand pretty badly one time. So please be careful guys, use the right tools. I was using those little mini scissors and I sliced through my fingers. So now use, it's just, there's a special tool you can use. It has a little point to it, it's a metal point and that is for you making buttonholes don't use like scissors or anything like that it's just gonna end up badly and then your garment's gonna be ruined so like now since i did that i have like kind of a fear of doing it so i'm sort of defaulting to grommets for right now but I'll, I'll do it again one day when i get the courage up so here you can see i just use the grommet tool this grommet tool is pretty cheap i got it for like ten dollars or something off amazon and I just put the metal eyelets on with it. I put them one inch apart down the front of the garment. And then I went to try it on and it did not have the right shape. So as you can see in this picture, the shape that it's giving me is really more of an 18th century shape. I mean, it does give me a pretty good shape, but it's not the Regency era that I want. So I want, you know, the breast to be really rounded, but really it's just, it's almost giving me that conical shape um, with the breast sort of coming out on top, which is not what I want. I want a really rounded breast. So I had to cut out the um, gores and I decided to put in cups. And I saw some extant garments with these like cups and they sort of had ruched the fabric together so that was like the look I was going for if I can find the picture I'll put it in the description below but I think it was like a random picture on Pinterest so who knows where it is but so I made these cups using like mini gores of fabric and I just sewed them all together to make this like sort of fan shape and the fan shape I did an identical set with the cotton canvas so then I have an outside and an inside of this like fan shape which is now my new like cup and because I knew I was gonna ruche it for this look that I was going for I didn't have to perfectly measure it to my cup size if you guys want to do that you can just measure your cup size and do that but I, I wanted this look because I thought it looked cool so now I have these little fan things and I just hand sewed them into the garment like where the cups were supposed to be giving me this nice like cup shape now 
So you can see right here, it's giving me actually like nice like rounded shape as before it was really just pushing the boobs. And something that I noticed was that when I went to the mirror, the inside was sort of pulling away from my body and instead, because I don't have a bust to separate the breasts, I decided to add an extra layer of boning just to that front part so it would, you know, more go into like the inside of my breasts and sort of separate them a little more. It didn't work perfectly because it's not a busk. A busk would have worked better, but I wanted the like tie look. So I added it and it did help a little bit. So here's the completed look. You can see the breasts look nice and round. It looks very Regency. I'm very happy with it. And I was able to sort of fake, like remember I told you before I messed up some of the, the cording. I was able to kind of like just make some stitches that like kind of faked it. So it looks good enough from afar. <laughs> We're always gonna make mistakes. So, and we can cover them up kind of. Cause sometimes you just get sick of stuff and you don't want to like redo it a million and one times. So just, just think the next garment I make, I'm not going to make the mistake. So, so there it is. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I really like the colors. I had this fabric lying around for a while and I wanted to do something fun with it. So I'm going to be wearing this in a Regency lookbook that I'm going to modernize and wear some cool outfits. So stay tuned for that. And I made a matching skirt too matching mini skirt, so that looks really cute. I'm not sure how I'm gonna style it yet, but stay tuned, tuned for it. Here's a close-up of the garment, so you can just see the cording, and there's the backside that's reversible. See, I added a few stitches to give it that like ruched look. So I could wear this inside out and wear it with a regular Regency outfit, because you know, wearing white was very popular during this time. So that's what I plan on doing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If this helped you in any way, please give it a like and subscribe, and consider supporting me on my Patreon. Thank you so much. Bye!